Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. It's Daniel week it's here Daniel in the vault. Week. It's all about Daniel. Yeah, all the whiskeys I want to drink. Yeah, so. Fine. Okay, we're drinking Glen Scotia, a Campbelltown whiskey. Yeah. This week is all about what Daniel wants. <laughs> right? You do, man, you Nobody. sacrifice. You sacrifice so much. Nobody you... has requested these. I just, and I want to drink what I want this week. <laughs> so, Campbelltown, a non Springbank product. All right, so Campbelltown, if I'm recalling correctly. A little bit of bottom of the peninsula. Let's... And and this is, if you're into Isla and you want to step it up, this is the last place you can go. <laughs> yeah, that's is... Springbank. Cast strength 12 will kick you in the teeth all day. Doesn't get more. Kill Karen, also wonderful. Hard than this. Now, keep in mind that uh, originally it was just Springbank, and Springbank was making, well, no, before that there was more, but Springbank makes Hazelwood and Longrow and Springbank. Need some and help? And then kill Karen. No, I'm I'll hoarding help, this. I'll help you. I love this bottle. I, I love these dark green, yeah, 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 old just, school. You crest, crest, open the bottle, pour, pour. There you go. Now, well done, sir. Glen, well done. Cheerio. Glen, <laughs> Glen Scotia is another Campbelltown distillery. Now, Glen Scotia is originally had a name established back in the 1800s, and then it was revived for this whiskey. You know what? It's. Woo! This is. Uh, oh, oh, I got it. It's um. I'm kidding. Cucumber water. A bit. I'm, yeah, I'm totally. Actually, I'm very surprised with how much butterscotch I'm smelling here. This also smells almost like a gin to me. You usually smell the butterscotch on like the space side, the sweeter stuff. Man. And I'm, I'm getting, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting butterscotch as much as I'm getting smoky bits. I have no memory of this whiskey and because it's been so long since I drank it. Um, but right now I'm getting a combination of space side and gin. If you mix the space side whiskey and the kind of herbal which cucumbery Hendrix style shouldn't be, effervescent shouldn't gin. be in the same hemisphere as Campbelltown. It really shouldn't. But this is magnificent. This smells it's really light. Yes, it really does. <laughs> and I'm picturing, you know, when you go to the fancy dinner parties and they have that giant glass urn. People don't invite. People chunks. don't invite me to their homes. No, no they don't. <laughs> with chunks of cucumbers floating in the ice water, right. and you go and get some from the tap. That's what I'm smelling. This mm. effervescent light. Campbelltown, I was prepared for a spanking. I was prepared to get taken behind the woodshed. No, this is just pretty. It really is. This reminds me of a Japanese whiskey. A bit, yeah. It, okay, oh, there it is. Are you sure? The aftertaste, there's a little bit of the brine and iodine. I'm making sure this is Campbelltown. Classic Campbelltown malt. Yeah, at the end, very, very end, there's a little hint of rubber note, or sort of an iodine note. Is, At the very, very end. Is this a Campbelltown distillery trying to be more friendly? I don't know that they're trying, because they just... They, they These are specific casks, right? They're choosing casks and they're mixing those casks to create the Victoriana Glen Scotia. Specifically. And, okay. It's not a single note throughout. Wow, this is really... It changes... Truly unique for a Campbelltown. It changes it up on the... Initial taste, then it ramps up in the finish. What are, what are, what are we, so on the initial taste, it's surprisingly sweet, but not candy sweet. But I'm still left with an aftertaste of something that's not sweet. Something that's, well, it's like a cucumber or like a veg, like a green vegetable. Honestly, I'm getting like, um, you ever had like apples cooked with cinnamon? Like hot apples, mm. and you put some cinnamon on it. it makes the apples no, mushy. No, that. No? Well then, like a. Um... I don't like mushy food. <laughs> it's baby food. Yes, mushy food is baby food. Daniel has some sensory issues. I do have. I absolutely have sensory <laughs> issues. Yeah. So it's a, it's a thing. If I just gave him a no, 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 <laughs> don't. I don't like it when people touch me. <laughs> so whenever you come to small A class, just give him a hug. No. I'm getting man, I like this. Apples and a touch of cinnamon still for me. Man, I'm pouring this again. I, I really like this. I'm, is gonna keep happening this week. I'm okay. Because everything I picked. Yeah. Yeah. It's Daniel Week. Uh huh. Daniel Week. So. It's sort of like Shark Week. <laughs> <laughs> See, I almost made a short joke. You did. But I said several episodes ago. Yeah, we jumped the shark on that. I kept going back to the. 
<laughs> All right, so if I don't do short jokes, can you not I can't do, do dad jokes? Yeah. Wow, that's a high standard. So if you do dad jokes, I'm bringing that shit back. All right. I was taking the high road. All right. All right. All right. Lorcan Dune. Done. Dune. Done. Hurricane sure. in Dublin at the Oh, moment. yes! Sorry, Ireland. And I just finished my will, or can't you, tell, can't you tell me what you think about something really cool? What? <laughs> I don't know. All it, I, no, I no. put that comment there because I thought it was funny because I couldn't figure it out. I read it like four times, <laughs> no. and I'm still not entirely certain what he's asking. No, a lot of people enjoy whiskey while they watch the show. Yeah, I'm just saying <laughs> the, the, he joy, enjoyed a lot of the Weller, <laughs> and it's Hurricane. Hurricane in Dublin <laughs> at the minute, and I just finished my Weller. Can't you tell me what you think about something really cool? Sure. <laughs> so here's the thing. So this one time? Yes, yeah, so I remember one time there's a bear in a bar. <laughs> you said, all right, you hobbity mother <laughs> It's on. Ooh, now I'm getting a vanilla smoke. It's changed up. It has changed up. Yeah. Now that it's sat in the glass for a while. Yeah, yeah. And we got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like. I'm just kidding. We're it's not even a full pour. We really haven't even, we're only two videos in right now. I like how so many people think we're drunk and or high. Yeah, and they all use examples of like, their eyes were half closed at one point during the episode. It's like, guys, and I'm like, that's called blinking. <laughs> 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 the, the unfortunate truth is we have no excuse. No. We're not drunk, we're not high. The, I think on probably two or three episodes in 200, we probably were like on the tail end of a five There's whiskey the, shoot. When we finish these, I drive home, and I have an Austin Police Department breathalyzer in my desk, right. and I use it. I've never been over the legal limit. Firefox, and you don't have to bleep that because it's F-U-X, so that makes it fine. Oh, okay. Uh, my ultimate whiskey mooch story is this. For my birthday, my sister and brother-in-law bought me a nice bottle of Texas bourbon. Today they were having a get-together and it Which was one? it was BYOB potluck type of alcohol set up where if you didn't bring something, you couldn't drink anything there. Oh, fair enough. I like that rule. I'd find out a way. My sister <laughs> asked for recommendations from me and I told her that Knob Creek and <laughs> Knob Creek, I'm not drunk at all. And Sheep Dip and were Dip. <laughs> Sheep dip were a good bang for the buck and yeah. good taste. You know what? Those were good choices, yeah, man. Good recommendations. I would have done the same. Yeah. The bottle I used as my entrance ticket was my gifted Garrison Brothers bourbon. Yeah. And, uh, nah, I was wondering what bourbon it was. Uh, it was a great night of sampling. I had the bourbon. opportunity to sample rums, vodkas, beers, and wines. At the end of the night, I came to I came to learn that no one but me, it <gasps> turns out, liked just whiskey, bourbon, scotch. So I left with in my untouched bottle of mooched Garrison Brothers. Yes. One new whiskey and one blended scotch to add to my personal connect uh, personal collection. I go in with one bottle, drink everyone else's supply, and leave with three. Yes, that is officially mooch level. That is like what I call a productive day of mooching. Yes. Well done, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, mooch card fully intact. That is top shelf mooching. Yes, you are uh, welcome at the next meeting. <laughs> <laughs> You've officially proven your bona fides. Are you watching? I'm watching. You know. What? Sure. This is happening. This is me watching. Oh. He actually did make that. Oh. From across the room. Oh, it's just painful how good I am at this. All right, my turn. Yeah, go ahead. I'm not even gonna look. No, no, look. Give yourself every advantage. You hit the window. <laughs> <laughs> <I Look. was laughs> <laughs> the window is there. The trash can is over there. I totally, I'm 10 feet away. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna look this time. Uh, go ahead. Why is this becoming a thing on our show? Oh, you made it! What? <laughs> so it's only because I am a perfect specimen of athletic prowess. Yes, a specimen. Specimen. Where's that breath? Totally not drunk. Where's that breath? Away? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just tired. That's all it is. I'm just tired. <laughs> drunk. That's what drunk people say. I'm taking your keys. I'm taking your whiskeys. All right. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. You fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.